Welcome to this ADSYS video on very large image processing and analysis. Today, flatbed scanners, computer-controlled microscopes, and dedicated slide scanning microscope systems make it easy to capture high-quality, high-resolution images of very large specimens. They are an important factor for the rapid growth and popularity of virtual microscopy in many areas such as the material sciences and especially in the life science areas of biology, medical diagnosis, and pathology. The use of very large images in virtual microscopy is necessary for accurate diagnosis and interpretation because it allows the analyst to quickly identify areas of interest at low magnification and carefully study them at high magnification and resolution. A single image of the specimen eliminates loss of information that occurs on the borders of multiple images. They increase accuracy, improve efficiency, and improve quality. A major obstacle to the use of very large images in pathology is the inability to display them at interactive rates because the images have many more pixels than the typical displays, thus requiring multiple monitors. More importantly, an ordinary computer does not have the ability to process a single very large image at the full resolution because much more RAM is required than is normally available. And the processing time for the very large image can easily be 1,000 to 10,000 times longer than for a typical image. ADSYS has developed an approach that accurately and efficiently analyzes very large images. The approach and its results are easily verified and are based on the exclusive rights to the patented method of the Francois Beclay Center and the University of Caen, Normandy. Here is an example that shows how the Aphelion Imaging Software Suite handles very large images. A high resolution image of a full microscope slide of oyster cells is loaded. Uncompressed, it's a 21,600 by 30,759 pixel image and has three bands, which produces an image size of 1.85 gigabytes. Sets of images or tiles at several resolutions are pre-computed for rapid and interactive display at any zoom level. Typically, the analyst begins by working at low magnification, or zoom, to define a region of interest or the area for measurement. The software can then segment the cells of the region of interest and make a preliminary measure of its area. The segmented region or regions can be displayed as overlays on the full image to allow visual verification. With the region of interest properly selected, high-resolution image sets are used to extract information about and make measurements on the features and objects within the region. When the features are reasonably well-defined and no user intervention is needed, several large subregions can be automatically and quickly analyzed. The masks generated earlier of the full region of interest can be scaled and applied to the high-resolution images of the subregions. In this example, cells with nuclei and cells without nuclei are identified and measured using the high-resolution images. The results are reported here for the measured subregions. The measurements are then extrapolated to produce a very reliable estimate of the full region of interest. The measurements can now be easily displayed as a histogram for cell area for all of the measured cells, just the measured cells with nuclei, or just the measured cells without nuclei. In addition to being able to effectively and efficiently process very large images, Aphelion also has modules that will help you capture very large images by means of the Virtual Image Capture and Virtual Image Stitcher products. Virtual Image Capture has the tools to automatically capture images from optical or scanning electron microscope systems. And Virtual Image Stitcher provides the means for generating an image of up to 40 gigabytes from a series of overlapping images.
Please feel free to contact us for additional information. Our contact information is on the Contact Us webpages at our two websites. Thank you.